In this video, we're going to discuss how to display live election results in a PowerPoint presentation. You can find out more at presentationpoint.com. So what are the uses of being able to display a live election feed right in your digital signage, right on your computer monitors? You can show them in local coffee shops, restaurants, you can display them in waiting rooms, uh, YouTubers can even use them for broadcasting online, so there's lots of ways that they can be used. So what can you show on a you know, digital signage screen? You can show live election news updates, you can show tickers, and you can show election results in chart format, such as bar graphs or infographics. To start with, you'll need to find what is going to be your data source for the live election feed. You may be able to find one that is uh, automatically updated through uh, JSON or XML. You can also just create your own Excel spreadsheet, which is a very simple way to do it. And you can also just connect to an internet picture on an existing website that has a live feed. The benefit of the JSON or XML feed is you can connect to these feeds using data point and set the refresh rate. Uh, you can format the PowerPoint however you want so it's got your own custom graphs, your own images, and your own branding. If you create a simple spreadsheet, it's just really easy to do this and you can therefore control the results, see if there's a problem with the results. Once again, you can format the PowerPoint however you want with custom graphs and images and your, um, you know, your graphics and your brand, but you do have to have someone update the spreadsheet unless you can find the data in an exportable format so you could automate the, the data updates. Another option is just to connect to an internet picture. So if there's somebody on the internet that's got a great website that's already updating in real time, you can just connect to that picture using data point. Great, this is great because it's easy to use, you just set and forget it, but the drawback is you can't format it in your own way. Uh, the branding is from the source, not your own branding. So these are three simple methods. We're going to show you how to do this using an Excel spreadsheet today. So the first step would be just to create an Excel spreadsheet or export a data feed into a spreadsheet, something that's going to show the, the names and the number of votes for each party. Once you have your spreadsheet, you're going to design your PowerPoint layout. You're going to add the graphic elements that won't change, things like pictures and a title and, and what the whole thing is about. And you can easily design this in PowerPoint yourself. If you don't have any design skills, you can certainly contact uh, presentationpoint.com. We have some custom templates you can use or we can, we can set up a custom design for you. So once you've got your PowerPoint set up, you'd go within PowerPoint and you click on the data point tab at the top of the screen and then click on list. And you'll see that this window down below comes up that lets you add a connection to an Excel file. So you choose Excel file and add connection. Once that comes up, you're going to be able to browse to find your Excel connection. And this is using software called data point, which is from presentationpoint.com. So if you haven't already installed it, just download, you can download a free trial from presentationpoint.com and it will give you these options within PowerPoint. Once you've done this, now you're going to add a query to the Excel file connection you've created. And it's going to ask you, you know, where, what, which sheet are you going to use in what range? And if the front row contains field names, you do want to tick that. Then you'll set how often you want this to update. And for something like an election, you'd want it pretty much continuous every few seconds. Uh, but if it was a presentation you were doing for something else, you might only do it at once at the beginning. But here you would choose probably continuous updating, very short seconds, and then you click on OK. Now you want to review and say what data showed up and down below you see if you tick this box it says preview data and that will show you if the data is showing up properly and you can see there the data is showing up. It's got the uh, first row up top being the titles, the labels and then it's showing the two sets of results. Then you click on OK. 
Now, so we've got the data information, we've got it connected to the PowerPoint, we need to say where is this data going to go? So within data point, we're going to click on text box, and we're going to click on this first text box that says name, and then we're going to go, uh, and the connection will show up, and it will show us which, which of the ones from that row do we want to go in there. So in this case, you would choose Hillary Clinton, and have that one connect there, and click OK. And then you would do the same thing for the other candidate. Then you would choose the text box where you want the votes to go into, do the same thing. If you do want a suffix to go at the end of the number, you can then actually click on the text option up top and that will give you another option where you can add a suffix or a prefix. And in this case, we can add that the 128 refers to electoral votes. Once we've done this, you see the data connection's complete and it all shows up. So a very simple setup, but this will work and this will update automatically. Some other ideas, you can do this with maps to show how each area is voting. So there's lots of ways of showing it. You can show the graphics as infographics, uh, lots of different ways of doing this. So to get started, to find out more, visit presentationpoint.com.